Hey, hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. I decided to walk a little further towards the store as opposed to where I left off on the last part just because, you know, I wanted to show the route, I suppose. Keep it all self-contained within its own video, so to speak. And we got another awesome high-speed water level. This one's sewer-based, as you may or may not be able to tell, which is going to be pretty awesome. I don't believe there's ever a sewer level in any Kirby game up to this point, actually. I could be wrong, though. I haven't played every Kirby game, as I've said before. But Kirby games are usually played in bright, happy, cheery areas, with the exception of um, that, you know, the industrial type of areas and stuff like Made a Knight's Ship. Um, the reason why I took the firepower here is because, you know, it helps me light up the area. So I'm gonna, regardless, I'm gonna grab this candle because it gives me even more light and continue on the path of hopefully not destruction, avoid sleepy guy there, which I probably wouldn't be able to see without this candle. Oh, I wonder what's up there. It's a hammer. I bet you that's something that I need because it's giving me it, and it's in a tightly <clears throat> hidden away alcove. Oh, there we are. I did need it, at least for that. Kill the bats. Yeah, I don't think I can break through those blocks with uh, just the firepower alone. Um, above or definitely below. <laughs> this part gives you like multiple pathways, and depending on which way you choose, will sort of determine your fate on how well you'll be able to continue on. Wait, do I want to go that way or through that door? I, I think I want to go through this way, actually. And yeah, I knew I wouldn't be able to take my candle through this water here. I'm pretty sure this is the secret way to a uh, another uh, energy sphere. I could be wrong, though. I really hope I'm not wrong, because that other way, I believe, is the normal path, the one that's above me. You see, this way is like a mirror version of the upper area, except harder. No, 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 no! Almost missed it. <laughs> Whew. Okay, that was definitely the correct path. Oh, I can swim against the current just a little bit, so I guess that wouldn't be a problem to go back for that energy, energy sphere if I needed to. Alright. What can I use? What do I need? Do I need any of those two? I don't know, actually. I have choice, so that probably means I don't need any of them. <laughs> Oh dear. Oh my. I'm gonna stay on the lower route because as you see, if I go up there, I won't be able to come back down here easily. <laughs> oh, it's a boss. And it is... Kibble Blade. I can... Oh, shoot. I was gonna say, I can actually attack him underneath there. And he doesn't have, like, any retaliation possibilities. Because he doesn't have any attacks that go through the floor or anything like that. So I just kind of, like, ruined my chance of having a flawless boss battle there, especially since I have the hammer, which can be used in the water. Alas, I got a little bit too hasty. Oh, a neat, neat old thing that you can do with the hammer is to do that, and then release your hammer power by pressing the minus button on the control, on the minus button on the controller, and then you can actually throw your hammer power, and it'll do a crap load of damage on enemies, and bosses especially. Uh, this is what you need the cutter for, by the way. Voila! Do not miss that as you jump in the water, the current may push you past it, and you might not be able to go back unless I'm wrong. Um, oh dear. I believe this is one of those kinds of places that I need to find the right place for a uh, energy sphere, I should see the right path for one. I just want- oh, it's right there. Okay, I gotta find my way. Ow. Oh no, I lost my cutter. No barracudas, I lost my cutter. Why are you adding insult to injury? It's like, I lose my cutter and they come towards me. Oh, no, no. I would like to carefully work my way towards the energy sphere, if at all possible. Did I choose? Yes! I took the right path. That is number four. It's going very nicely. And let's move on to the fifth energy sphere coming up in the next area. Uh, oh! <laughs> okay, I admit they got me there. Because <laughs> I, I automatically... Uh, instinctively went after, you know, breaking those blocks, and I would have been safe if I just wouldn't have broke those blocks. <laughs> Whoa, they, they got me again, dang it. They <laughs> Very clever, man. I must not break blocks. Wait, wait, can I go inside that little hole in the wall? Because sometimes you can go inside hole in, holes in the walls. No, I guess you can't. In Kirby games, like, they have those little hidden black holes and things. 
I bet you that leads to the last energy sphere. <laughs> uh, yeah, there it is. Okay, I need a key. Where is... Alright, where is the key? We got a cannon. That's definitely not a prize. Another cannon. There's a key. That's what we're looking for. Wait, how do I... Oh, all right, I, I can just do that. <laughs> it's up plus one button. And... I'm not even going to bother with the candle. It's going to burn out as soon as it touches the water. And... Whoa! I almost swam right into that critter. And... I'm guessing the end is coming right up. I don't really need to search for anything more. Oh boy, oh boy, oh my god, oh boy. Oh my. <laughs> uh, looks like we're exiting the sewer system now, actually. Coming to some just plain... Oh, maybe not. Oh, there we go. <laughs> and goal game, of which I am inevitably going to get like a three or four on. <laughs> yep, a three. <laughs> so sad, I just can't get it. Perhaps the secret is to not think about it like I did before. Anyway, stage five. Right up above us. Let's go. Plenty of time in this part to do it. Woo! And we got some guys sort of working the factory there. It's, I guess these guys are like better than hamster power or something like that. I mean... They do seem like they have stronger legs than hamsters would, you know, on their little wheels, so I guess that is a little bit more efficient. But uh, these guys seem to be more intelligent than hamsters, or so they seem to be. I could be wrong, though, and wow, you guys are really resilient. That was a fully charged spark there. <laughs> that is some powerful helmets you got there. I should say some very strong helmets. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I don't know which power I need exactly as we're coming up to things. I'm just going to take the last power that I see in this room. <laughs> I'm going to try breaking that out ahead of time. Actually, the spark power is working out really nicely here to duck in these corners. Oh, and I could have dashed all the way to the right side there. Oh, well. I played it safe. And I still lived. Can I squish them? Yay! <laughs> and don't squish down, please. Are you going to squish down? Or... I, I don't know. I'm a little frightened to see if it'll squish down or not. I guess it doesn't. <laughs> That's kind of surprising there. Anyway, let's go through the store. Oh, this, 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 this! You have to sort of predict where the energy sphere is going to come from by jumping into these holes that you see. Um, I, like, you got to jump as high as you can into those holes, so to speak. You'll see as I'm coming to it here, because because they, I mean, this squisher thingy moves up as fast as you can jump up. So once they start going up, you've already missed your chance at an energy sphere. And that's kind of like, that's the trick of those things there. So that might take you a couple of tries to get, unless you uh, memorize the locations of these suckers. You know, just like memorize, not, not memorize, excuse me, to get the rhythm of it if you do it blindly. Uh, I, I, I always recommend that you do play a, a game blindly so that you can always get the full experience of it rather than watching a walkthrough on it or um, reading a player's guide on it unless you're like looking to see how a game is or, or something like that but don't go too far into the walkthrough <laughs> I mean why would you want to spoil the experience for yourself on a game that you're interested in getting you know anyway let's see what else we have up ahead. Wow, that is really fast conveyor belt. <laughs> oh no, Maxim Tomato! I, I don't really need that, need that anyway. But that is a mean a little trick. Oh, there's a door. Oh, I wanted to... There we go. I want to zap him to death. Um... Oh, this one. I have to throw the key over the edge, get over to the other side quickly. No problem. Because you can't like take it through there without getting a hit. And yeah, that's the way to do it without taking a hit. <laughs> and... Whoa! <laughs> that guy down there distracted me. I didn't even notice the guy I jumped into. Because it's like... Right in your face. Because he's so huge. Well, he's not in your face, but you get the idea. Uh, another one of these. I believe the energy sphere that I'm looking for is right in the center. Duck! <laughs> Gotta duck through some spikes. 
Oh, I got it. That's why you want to jump up ahead of time into those gaps, unless you see spikes or something like that. Just so that you'll have enough time to react to whatever's in your way. I mean, whatever is coming, excuse me. Alright, three out of five. Moving on. Everything's looking great so far. Probably shouldn't say that, though. <laughs> uh, I believe I have to duck under here. Yeah, because I won't be able to avoid them otherwise. Did I want the whip guy? Because whip guy can bring stuff towards me. Probably at least want to grab this. Because <laughs> I could just like run through all the stuff without any trouble. See that fireball? Yeah, no problem. Actually, I can even use it to get the secret here. It's not really much of a secret, you know, considering that it's right in plain sight. Uh, before you open the door, make sure that the fireball blasts itself to oblivion so that, you know, you don't accidentally um, get yourself hit by the fireball before you grab your crystal again. Ow. I was getting a little reckless there, but tis okay. And... I, yeah, I can't carry you through the door because I can't float. Okay. Uh-oh, last one, last one! Urgh. I believe this is also the end of the stage that's coming up as well. And this one is definitely a lot more distracting than the other ones in that it has a lot more enemies blocking your way than the other ones do, and there's also two layers of poop. So it's like, yeah, you see the idea. And I'd like to get that one up, actually. Uh, 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 aha! Easier to get on the way up than they are coming down. Oh, shoot, oh, shoot, oh, shoot, oh, shoot, oh! <laughs> that guy was really in my way. I mean, he was massive. Um, I believe now they're going to be doing it one at a time. Yeah, like that. Now, watch for the third one. Get ready. There we go. And now the door will appear right here. Yep. Voila! <laughs> Awesome-tastic, baby. <laughs> well, I think that's all I'm going to be doing in this part. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part. But first, let's see if we unlocked anything. Well, besides another stage, of course. Yep, I guess we didn't, unlo didn't unlock anything, excuse me. Alright, see you in the next part.